Hey guys, and welcome to the launch of Planet Zoo for real. Now, I played it in beta. Uh, I want to play it in real launch mode and see, like, has anything changed? Has it, has it improved on some of the issues that we had? We'll see. This is me. This is me right there. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some franchise going. We'll start a new zoo. What biome are we going to go for? Tropical, temperate. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking we go, like, maybe tropical. North America. North America tropical? Yeah, why not? Go for it. This is going to, of course, be Sky Zoo. With just two O's, I think. Create. Hooray. And there was much, much rejoicing. And here is our park. Look at that. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? It's got a kind of a... I, I feel like we could be in Johannesburg. All right. Uh, we are going to start off... We, we start off with 40,000 dollars which um isn't going to go as far as you might think we're going to start off i'm going to put a path in let's see uh you want to crank your width up to width 10 so that um your people don't get caught up when you get crowds they will bump into each other a lot you want the widest paths you can especially at the beginning i'm going to put in a bit of a circle here and we're going to divide it into four and try and have four enclosures that's the plan he said optimistically um, now, what I want to do is put this out kind of, say, about there. So, just bring it in one tick each time. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be about the right size with a bit of luck. Uh, one tick each time. So we get that done. Now, I need to get rid of that first section that we put in. And that gives us a perfect circle. All right. How much rejoicing was there about that? Quite a lot. So, you know, I, yeah, there's a setting here to set... T junctions. Yes, to use T junction when joining path. Thank you very much. So now with a bit of luck, that'll actually create like a, a 90 degree. All right. And then what I want to do is switch to uh, staff paths and crank the width down to probably, four, yeah, probably right down to four. And then I want a path that just comes across here like this and I, well am i going to divide it into i was going to divide you know what i think i am i'm going to divide it into four not for not for any like special reason i just think it might be cool to do that so come out this way boom boom okay having done that we can now put all of our all of our keeper stuff up here now, when they come in, hopefully we want to get some cash out of them. So I'm going to put in a few things. So let's go to facilities and we'll go for guest facilities. And I'm hoping that we can maybe get a little bit of cash out of them. Persuade them to maybe get a soda or something. Um, let's, oh, I want to use one that's in a building. I, do I want to put one of these shops in? I, no, I think I'm just going to use these for now. Let's, let's do it on the cheap. So let's put in a gulpy. And of course, we've got to have a chief beef, haven't we? Of course we have. Let's put those right up against each other. So we'll have a gulpy and a chief beef. And I think we should have an info. Yeah, am I going to go with an information center? I'm thinking maybe an information center would be a good thing. So let's have an information center in there. Uh, uh, and a loony balloons. I mean, we can only try these things, can't we? And then go bankrupt and then cry about it afterwards. Let's put so we've got our facilities in. So hopefully when they can... Oh, one more facility that... I just saw nature and I thought, yes, call of nature. We should put in some toilets. Might not be a bad idea. Planet Zoo, small toilet. Hooray. Let's flip, uh, flip you around and pop you in right next to this. So we've got a little block going on. So let's put in a recycling bin. Well, if I can actually get the darn thing to go. It wants to it wants to glue to the side. Yeah, go on, it's fine. And uh, we'll put a planet zoo bin as, there as well. Okay. So we've got our basic facilities, but we will need electricity to power those. Now I'm i I'm thinking that I've probably put them too far away for having something up there. Okay, well you know what? Let's go to staff facilities. Uh, oh no, no, let's go to utility. Let's just see. If I put in a trans. Oh no, that's actually within range because you get 
a bit of power from the gate. Ha ha, that works. Kill, 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 kill. All right, so in that case, why don't I get a transformer and put it probably up here somewhere. Um, you know, I'll put that in last. Let's put in the staff facility. So we want, we want a keeper's hut. Let's put the keeper's hut there. And then we're going to want uh, a quarantine because you've got to have a quarantine before you can bring animals in. They have to be quarantined. I, I might space these out. You know what? I'm going to put the quarantine on that side. But I have the quarantine building there. And then, oh, we, we definitely want a research building so that we can research all the cool stuff for the animals. Uh, which way around do I want it? That way. Hey, can I put these, can I kind of butt these up against each other? That's, that's right. And can I get the roots to go together? Oh, come on, pixel this way. There we go. Oh my God, I actually got it to work. That actually looks nice. Okay, and um, what was that? That was the research center, wasn't it? So we need a staff room, which I think I'm going to put on, whoops, which I'm going to put on this side. Um, so I've got, uh, that's a staff room. I need a trade center because you need the trade center in order to bring animals in. Let's line you up and have you there. And then we need a vet. Let's put the vet on this side, I think. So maybe I might leave a little gap between those two buildings. And finally, a workshop there, let's say. Okay, having put all those in, now I can decide where I want my transformer. And I think I want my transformer and water over here. Now, this is going to be an important thing. I probably should have checked this. Oh, yeah, look. Look, my transformer covers, just covers the entire circle. My, you know what? I couldn't have done that better if I tried. And I, I, I certainly didn't rehearse this. God, if I'm this bad when I rehearse. God. Just quit now, Sky. Just quit now. So I'm going to put this in. This will purify any water that's um, around the place. So we'll put that in there and we'll get a transformer and we'll put that in right next to it on the same grid. Okay, so we have power, we have water, all that good stuff to this area, which is kind of nice. So what I'm gonna do now is get, um, let's go barriers. And I'm gonna get corrugated maybe. That's resistance two, isn't it? Um, well, we'll go with corrugated, I think. Now, the way I want to do this, ideally, is to start in a corner, say down there, and then let's make this, what do we think, like 10 meters, probably? Yeah, and then I want to come into the center, so that, because I want it like, mostly lined up, and then, so one, two, okay, three, three it's gonna be. Three was the number of the counting, and the number of the counting shall be three. And then, anybody, anybody who's not a multi-python fan is going, what the hell is he on about? And we want to do the same here. One, two, three. And then I want to get this at 45 degrees. And one, two, three. All right, cool. And then... I'm going to come in three in that direction. And one, two, three in that direction. And then join them up like that. I think that kind of works, doesn't it? I think it probably does. Okay, so we'll edit the barrier. We'll, uh, we'll select the whole barrier. And we'll crank this up to, I don't know, um, three, I don't know, three meters, four meters, maybe like three and a half-ish, three and a half-ish will do, cool. And then we want to be able to see in here, so let's select this section over here, draw it around like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to try and economize a little bit. So. Uh, just this section here. We'll add windows. Glass windows, please. Boom. So people could see in. That's kind of a nice enclosure, that. 
So let's see, how much cash have I used? Um, all of it is the answer. What? Now, what I can do, I can go and take a loan, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Zoo and I go to Finance. Where's Finance? Finance, Finance, Finances. And we've got loans and we can take out either a five, twenty, or $50,000 loan. Okay. Uh, I, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. So take out, take out a 50,000 loan. Oh my God. In that case, <laughs> this needs to work. Okay, so I need to set up uh, barriers like this uh, on the other three quadrants. Okay, all completed, all put in. And that leaves us with, I, I, I changed the changed the angle here. So, so it came out, came out and then joined them up. Because I wanted to leave myself a little bit more room in the middle because I want to put some I'm going to put some trees and stuff in there. But you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to decide on my animals first. Let's go to the zoo and let's get some staff. We are going to need um, probably a couple of keepers, but we'll, we'll start with one keeper. And let's see, what else do I want? I want... Now, I've already got four vendors. It automatically um, hires you a vendor when you put one of these in. So we've got the four vendors. We're going to need a mechanic. To, to fix stuff. In fact, I'm thinking we're probably going to need two because we've got a lot of fences to maintain. So let's see. How, how much? How much is a? How much is one of those? These guys. It, like it doesn't tell you. It's, it's like hire a mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. How much is that going to cost me? But how much they? How much? So, well, this guy is like earning a thousand. A what? <laughs> a thousand a day? I hope not. Uh, okay. Well. You know what? We need a couple of mechanics, so I guess I guess we'll just just hire them and, and hope. So two mechanics, and what? And we definitely need a vet. That is important. Hire a vet. Uh, you can go over there. Neither. That's the vet clinic, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. And then security? Yeah, probably not. A caretaker. We'll have, have one caretaker. You have got a lot of work to do cleaning this place up. I've put a bin in for you though, so you should be fine. I should, I, you know what, I'm gonna put some more bins in. <laughs> Maybe, because with all the vendors, I think it's probably a good idea. Don't you think that's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. Facilities, where are we? Bins, bins, benches and security. Do we want some benches around the place? Oh, now I wonder, because if we put, like will, will people sit on these benches and, and like, look at the animals and stuff? I wonder if they will, you know what? I mean, I mean they, 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 benches are cheap. Let's put in some, some benches around the place. Blue one on that side, green one on this side. And when I put the green one on that side and the blue one on that side. God, it's very important that these be exactly correct. Okay, cool. Uh, security cameras, do not disturb. No, that'll do. That'll do for now. What I do want to put in is information signs here yeah, because we want to start we want to start informing the public so let's see these um these signs are like 50 a piece uh, so they're not expensive so i think you know they're 40 a piece in actual fact so we'll put one there okay so that's all the boards and all the speakers put in and of course i've increased the volume i mean there's only there's only one setting you should use when when setting speakers it should go up to 11. <laughs> all right, so um, that's all the educational stuff, stuff set up. We've got the we've got the staff, we've got the educational, we've got some places for them to sit and whatever. Okay, so now it's time for animals and then terrain. So let's go to the zoo. Let's have a look at what, well, now let's have a look at animal trading and see what animals we can get. And it, <laughs> the answer is none, there are no animals. I've got this set up for, um, for just the cash listings because there's no way that we can buy with the, the conservation credits. So, come on. Oh, here we go. So, we've got warthogs. You know what? We're definitely going to have some warthogs going on. Okay, let's get your 5.3 years old. Yeah, I'll, I'll adopt you. What else? You know what? I'm going to get a tapir. Adopt that tapir. What about aardvarks? You know what? I'm going to adopt a pair of aardvarks. Why the hell not? What about an African wild dog? I'm just going to take it. Right, so I've got four animals. Perhaps not the four animals that I would have chosen, but I've got four animals. Now, let's do, before we even start, 
I want to do a little bit of terrain work. So let's go to terrain and I just want to give them uh, pools. So and we're just going to create a little pool for each one of them. I'm probably going to do them maybe slightly different. So let's have a little pool there. Maybe one, like a round one in the middle. And let's have a long one at the front. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe a bit of a crescent shape one. There we go. Okay, so if we go to water, and let's see. There we go, nice little crescent shape pond. That's very nice as well, liking that. And that one, and finally, that one. Right, so they've all got water, and that's clean water, because we've got a, uh, a water purifier. Okay, so now I suppose we want to start putting the animals in. That'd be a good idea. So let's go to our animal story. So this is why I bought. We got two aardvarks, a wild dog, one tapir, and a couple of warthogs. The warthogs probably, and in fact the African wild dog, are probably not going to be too happy because they'll need more to make up a pack. But, you know, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how it goes. So let's put, um, let's do the aardvarks first, shall we? Yeah, this should be fun. So move aardvark to, oh, yeah, it's saying invalid destination because I f forgot to put the gates in. That's what I meant. I meant to do that and I forgot. Let's go edit barrier and we want to put a gate. Well, just on that corner is fine. And then we want one on that corner as well. Let's try and, try and get them lined up nicely. Right, so. Aardvark's coming up. Animal, uh, animal trading. Aardvark. Move to here. And the other Aardvark. Move to here. Hooray. Oh, you know what? There's one thing that I've forgotten to put in. And this is <laughs> the most important thing, probably. And that is... Uh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, facilities. Guest facilities. Donation boxes. So, so, so important. Let's put one, let's put a donation box there and one there. Let's put one, where did I put that one? Oh, just the other side of the, because they'll gather around these information points and um, we want to make the most of that. So give us your cash, throw some money in the bin, make an animal happy. Save an animal from going in the pot, because otherwise, you know, like if we can't afford to eat, you know what's going to happen. Should that be the like slogan for the zoo? Do you think? Save an animal. <laughs> Pay up or we'll cook them. No, no, that, that would be bad. Uh, let's uh, put one there and one there. And it's that no more. One there. And that's it. Okay, so that's all the donation boxes gone. So I've got aardvarks are in here. So I think. Um, what else? Now, I can put some stuff in. I'm, I'm trying to anticipate. Now, you know what? Let's get them put in, and then we'll figure it out. I think that's probably the best way to go. So, go. Where's uh, where's all my people? Oh, 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 they're actually figuring out what the hell they need to be doing. I might speed you up a little bit. Now, well, hello. Oh, great. There we go. We've got an aardvark. We've got two aardvarks. All right, let's pause before we kill them. <laughs> Sorry, before I kill them, let's be fair. All righty, so welfare's not so great. So the first thing that we need to do is have a look at their um, their habitat. So let's have a look at the terrain. We need, uh, we need more short grass. We need less long grass. We need more soil. And rock is fine. So I think let's do, let's get some light soil. Um, let's shrink that down. A little bit. Let's have some light soil all around the edge of the pond. Okay, that gets us good on soil. We need a bit more short grass and more and less long grass. So you know, actually, I should put this around there. And there we are. That's that's how easy it is to look after aardvarks. Awesome. Now I do need to give them some shelter. Now, now, what do we want to do for an aardvark shelter? 
It's a good question. Should we give him a little cave? A little aardvark cave? Yeah, go on. Let's give him a little aardvark cave. So, what do I want to do? I'm going to pull up the terrain. Uh, let's, let's have a little aardvark cave going on over here. So... Let's just something like that. Yeah, that'll do. And then if I take the flatten to surface tool and make this a little bit smaller, I think. And then just dig them out a little cave in there. There you go. And a little aardvark cave. Actually, let's let's flatten that off. And you can still be seen, which is important. Let's flatten that a little bit. All right, sweet. Um, does that? I'm gonna need to run it on for a moment for it to recognise the hard shelter. Yes, that's enough shelter. Cool. Everything good. Now, the one thing I wanted to look at uh, was let's see, initial uh, habitat. Temperature. Our temperature is 100%, so they're happy at the moment. We'll, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, that's mechanic research. Vet research. <laughs> oh, man. And Cletus. Cletus Bygrave. We want you researching. And he'll, he'll research and he'll, he'll keep researching until he's done everything, unless you stop it. Let's go to habitat. We want to filter this by the animal that we're trying to keep alive, in this case, an aardvark. Um, we can put some bedding in for them. They're only small. I'm still going to use the large ones. There we go. Oh, it's... Oh, that's deformer terrain. Oh, man. Okay. 100%. Hooray. F finally, we've got the aardvarks made happy. Now, as soon as you've got animals in, look. People, as soon as you've got an animal, people start arriving. Now, let's just have a quick look and see what happens. Because if I've messed everything up, then they'll walk in and they'll just walk straight out. We've got an inspector arriving in 23 months. Um, actually, before, we, before I do that, I've got to feed them. <laughs> if I don't feed them, I'll end up killing them and that would be bad. I think, let's come around here. I've sorted it for aardvark. We just want like, like a food bowl and some water. Let's put in a water pipe, say there, and we'll put in, that's a water bowl. Small, a small food bowl, or a large food bowl. Let's put in a large food bowl, that's not be mean. We like aardvarks, don't we? And then a cooler if they need it, but they're happy with the temperature at the moment, so we'll keep, a, we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, so, go. Oh, the people are coming in, and they're wandering around. Okay, so that's obviously, well, it looks like it's going to work. Let's get some other animals going. Oh, yeah. Animal trading. Right, what do we want? We want, let's get the tapir going on. So let's put the tapir in here. Okay, so let's get the tapir delivered. I've just remembered something else I've got to do. Come on, come on. Bring him, to, bring the tapir down here. I think I'm going to need another keeper. Should I put another keeper in? Oh, here we go. He's bringing it. And boom, we've got a tapir. Woohoo. Show us, your, show us your big nose. There you go. Where are you from? Nose city. All right, so let's grab this guy and see. What do you like? You like a bit more short grass, a bit less long, like a lot less long grass, and you want some soil. All right, well, let's give you what you want. There we go. That'll do. Okay, so you're happy. Okay, do I try and get the other animals in or do we just see how they like that? I don't know, maybe just see how they like that. So, the one thing I've got to do, and this is aardvark. Alrighty, so now that I've got the boards set up properly, aardvarks, tapir. Okay, at this point, it is a case of C, like, what what do people do? Do they... Do they Wander the entire zoo? Do they look? Do they like what they see? Do they throw us any money? That's the important thing. So we're at, um, call it 40,000, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, look, Tapir's having a little swim. Oh, they like that. 
They like that. They're probably not going to like the fact that I'm starving them to death. So I should probably put some food out. That would be a good plan. What do I want? I want, um, we want a water pipe. Let's, let's put a water pipe in there. And, oh no, you know what? I've got, I've, I've got it set for aardvark. This is the type here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's set this up for species and bed tapir. Okay. So, oh, it's similar stuff. We'll, we'll use a maybe a medium food trough. I did check uh, temperature. You know what? Let's just quickly check his temperature because... Oh, hang on. Temperature's okay. Plants, yeah. Oh, and hard shelter. Huh, Okay. So he does want hard shelter. He didn't want hard shelter before. This is south, uh, south of Central America, tropical temperate grassland. So we want to go into the filters and we want to say, what did I say? Tropical temperate grassland. Tropical temperate grassland. And it was Central and South America continent. Uh, there we go. So these are all the plants that we can use in here. Which will which will make him happy. So I don't know some um, oh some nice bushes. Let's maybe put that over in the over in the corner. Uh, have they got any little ones? Yes. So let's let's put a few of these around here. Let's. Try spinning them around a bit and plant a few of these down by the water. Come on. Go in. There we go. How are we doing? Oh, 72%. Um, a, a custard apple tree. Love it. Let's have, let's have maybe some of these uh, around, the, around the back area here. And then finish with another one of these custard thingies. How does that look? Okay, uh, there's one of these plants has been put on top of one of the others. <laughs> Let's get rid of that because that just looks silly. Uh, okay, cool. Obviously, I could do a lot more work on that. What about the what about the aardvarks? What do they want plants-wise? Oh, look, we've got an aardvark swimming. Cool. What do you want plants-wise, Mr. Aardvark? Oh, he's okay. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm fine. I don't, I don't care. Totally okay. Uh, let's see. What's your environment? Africa, grassland tropical. Grassland tropical. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we want to add Africa. So any of, this, any of these plants we can use in here. He doesn't care about plants, so what the hell. So we'll just put some, oh, no, those are a bit big. But we've got some, oh, some acacia trees would be nice. Let's bang um, one of those in there, flip that around a bit. Actually, not, not there, maybe there. There we go. And small acacia tree, maybe. Flips around a little bit. Cool. Uh, you're complaining about coverage. Really? Oh, there's too much coverage. Oh, you. You awkward aardvark. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that then. You happy now? Yes, he's happy now. Just. Just happy. Okay. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, man, what about... Okay, so if I get rid of maybe this one... What about now? Are you going to be happy now? No. Good Lord. He really doesn't like the coverage. Let's get that one out of there as well. Are you happy now? Finally. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. You know what? If I put a case of trees, like, round the back, like this, flip it around a bit to provide just a bit of coverage outside, will you be okay with that? It's outside your pen. Yeah, he's okay. He's all right. Good. Thank God for that. So yeah, that's going to be the plan. Let's put let's put a couple more of those. Oh, that was that's what I wanted—a cake pot tree. 
let's throw one of those in get a bit of get a bit of height in there and then we can throw a couple of um, a couple of acacia trees in over around this side oh, that's reeds that's the that's the one that I was looking for you know what starting to get there all right let's see um, I've put the food things in we need to say we need to tell the keeper to come and actually feed them so if we say call the keeper he should be I mean he should be on the ball with this stuff anyway but we'll, we'll see we'll see what he does so the people are wandering around we're down to 35,000 the money is going out very quickly we're gonna need we're gonna need some serious sales. It's still going down. Is anybody gonna throw some money in the pot? No, they're like yeah, whatever. Oh yes, they did! Hooray! Oh, we're we're almost back up to thirty-five. People wandering around, stopping to read the information. Now, if we look at them, oh, they are starting. They they come in with zero education. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go down to the entrance. And we'll, we'll have a look at somebody who's just come in. So let's take let's take you. Uh, you've already got a bit of information. What about you? Okay. They, well, apparently they start with almost no information. And then as they wander around, these speakers and these notice boards will inform them, and that should start to go up. You know what? I'm going to speed you up. Stop at one of the notice boards. Oh. So you're looking at looking at the tapir. Good, 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 good. Tapir looking very tapirish. And then you're going to go around here. Oh, they're throwing some money in. Oh, we're down to 32, 33,000. Oh, you're not stopping any of the information boards, which is kind of annoying. Oh, but you're looking at the aardvarks. Good. Uh, still at around 33, but it is looks like it is kind of sort of dropping. But there are, like, if you're standing there, did you get any? No. Oh, no, it was, was heading to Gulpy Soda, and then it went to go home. Now, are these bugging again? No, we've actually got people queuing. Oh, and look, all the vendors have gone. You know what? Like, do I need to put in, like, a couple of spare vendors to cover their breaks? Because they seem to be on break, like, all the damn time. Let's put in, I'm going to put in an extra couple of vendors. One there, one there, and we'll see, we'll see. Will you go and actually go in there and cover the breaks? Oh, you've gone into Chief Beef, you've gone into the information. Well, it's night time now, and yet, and yet it's still going. They don't care what time it is. So... People could go in here, and it looks like they are actually maybe buying some stuff. We're at 30,000. We've dropped under 30,000. But we have got people looking at the stuff. Well, we're up to 240 guests, 250 guests, and that's raining, which is not good. But look, our fences are all getting a bit shoddy. This is where you have to say, like, call the mechanic. Which one's the shot? That's probably the shot. Call the mechanic. And you know what? Call the mechanic to that one as well. Hopefully he'll do some repairs. Okay, well, yeah, we are struggling. We're struggling to maintain it. I am going to have to put in the other animals in the other two pens and see, can we possibly make a profit? Well, if you want to find out if I can... You know what? You're going to have to come back for the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of the layout. If you've got any tips about how to improve things, how to, make, how to make some more money, then let me know. And I will catch you for the next episode. Peace out.